it's time to embrace the future. I bought myself one of these. It's a Wi-Fi smart socket or smart plug, if you like. Basically, it's just a way of switching on and off devices using either your phone, an app on your phone, or voice control using uh, something like Alexa. Only cost twelve ninety nine. Up till fairly recently, these have been these kind of devices have been well over twenty pounds, and there's no way I was paying that much for one. But now it's come down uh, to almost the ten pound mark. Uh, I thought I'd better bite the bullet and try it, try one of these out. So this video is going to show the setup of it, uh, installing the app, and uh, connecting um, through your Wi-Fi, and then I want to look at using. Uh, Amazon Dot or Alexa with it. Um, but that's what I'm really interested in because I don't especially want to be um, turning on and off lights and so on using my uh, my phone. I mean that's nice enough but it's not especially convenient. You still have to get out your phone, open the app and so on. Um, but using voice control with, um, with Amazon Dot is much more appealing to me. Um, so Let's uh, get on and see what's inside this. Let's have a look to see what's in the box. So we've got um, no user manual but QR codes to access one online. So I'll need to have a look at that. And there's some instructions here for the app, eFamily e Cloud app and hooking it up to um, <clears throat> uh, Alexa or, well yeah, it's only for the Amazon Echo this, so, <clears throat> and here's the plug itself, seems reasonably well made and certified and so on so it looks okay um, <clears throat> right so what I'm going to do is have a quick read uh, of the manual once I've <clears throat> located it and then we can try setting this up in fact uh, what the QR code has taken me to is um, a download of the eFamily Cloud app so um, I'm going to have to register f first of all not going to show you all of this, obviously, but um, just so you get an idea. Okay, so the system sent me a verification code. I then put that in and added my own password. Now it's taken me to this Add Devices option. So what do we want to add? Well, this is an electrical outlet. I guess. Power on the device and confirm that indicator light rapidly blinks. Okay. So as you can see, we've got the device rapidly blinking. So confirm. Right, just need to add my Wi-Fi password. I've entered my password, my Wi-Fi key rather, and it's now trying to connect. So I got a message saying it's successfully connected and now I have this uh, showing that the plug socket is turned on. So, whoop, I just turned it off. I can show you that. Okay, this is a little hard to show because of the brightness of the screen, but um, if I press, if I press that, it will switch the the plug on and off. So the little red light when it's on, you can just see in there. It's more obvious to me um, than it is on the camera, I think. But so let's just have a quick uh, look. What else we've got in here? If I uh, tap on this, it will take me through to the socket um, display and again I can switch the socket on and off using this. 
and there's a countdown which allows me to I guess set when I want the socket to switch itself off or indeed switch itself on um, and a timer uh, so I can schedule when I want the uh, power to come go on and off and on I can schedule that on separate days of the week so that's basically uh, the sort of level of control you get within the app now what I'm more interested in is controlling the plug uh, using Amazon Echo so let's uh, have a look see how that's set up okay so for the purposes of this I'm going to refer to ALEXA as AL so I don't keep activating it um, so I've gone into the AL app as requested here and I'm looking for skills and then I just need to search for the eFamily cloud in the skills let's just try eFamily okay there seems to be two eFamily and eFamily cloud I guess I should pick this one and I want to enable Uh, I have to use add my password and phone number again here. To continue, close this window to discover. Okay. Close the window. Discover devices. Al is looking for devices. Okay, so it's found my socket, which is just to the right of us in the corner here. Oh, you can't quite see it, but it's there. Um, so just as a quick recap, start off with your uh, going into the Al app and going to skills. You're searching for eFamily Cloud. Once you find that, you click on it to add it and uh, tap the Enable button. You then have to enter your uh, account details. So um, whatever password you chose for eFamily Cloud, you'll need to add that. And I think the phone number. And um, that should then connect Al to your eFamily Cloud system. So that's the stage I've got to now. Um, let's just give it a quick test. One thing I should mention, I renamed the socket from what I'd originally called it, which was Pete Socket A. I've now renamed it to Light, just to make the voice control a bit simpler. So now let's uh, give this a test. Alexa, turn light on. Alexa, turn light off. Okay. So you can see it's working great. What I'm going to do is hook this up somewhere it's a bit more useful. So I'll probably have the, the socket um, plugged into a couple of lights and, you know, somewhere where it's slightly more of a hassle to get to turn them on and off. And um, we'll see how that goes. But that's uh, pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.